Give it about one more minute. No, oh, no, we'll give it, do it right now. Well, welcome everybody. We are so excited to have you. This is Credo's first ever live feed on Instagram, and I feel honored that I was asked to participate. My name is Joshua Pierce. I am the education manager for Credo. So I have the really fun job of working with all of our teams and our stores uh, and bringing in education from our fabulous brands uh, and then delivering it to you all, um, which is basically like a product junkies dream job. Um, so I'm happy to have it. Um, so as you know, Credo is the largest retailer of clean, non-toxic beauty. We have, I think, approaching 130 brands from head to toe beauty products. Um, anything you can think of from toothpaste to, uh, I was gonna say floss, but that's not a far stretch, but toothpaste, skincare, hair care, fragrance, all of it is clean and non-toxic and amazing for you. So if you haven't uh, been into a store, we hope you can make it in, but obviously we have a fantastic uh, website www.credobeauty.com uh, where there's loads of information about the company, what we stand for, our DNA, um, our standards in terms of what ingredients we don't allow in products. It's all there on our website for you. Um, you can also engage in a live chat with one of our what we call a clean beauty expert. That's one of our many people out on the field working in our Credo stores. They have access to uh, basically uh, an iPad where you can chat with them live and ask them all kinds of questions. So today we'll get to a Q&A portion in a minute, but if there's anything that comes up and you want like an immediate answer, you can go to credobeauty.com slash chat, or if you're on our webpage, you can just go to down to the bottom right and you can engage in a live chat with one of our clean beauty experts. They are waiting to help you with anything. So, uh, let's get into it. So this is our little our little masterclass from home, our work from home masterclass. Uh, being a uh, educator for a brand, part of my job, a lot of it's travel. Um, but since I'm not based in a store, I work from home a lot of days as well. And so for me, I am not like the most focused person. I'm more of a creative brain. So I tend to like, ooh, shiny thing. Like I'm a little too distracted by stuff. Um, so I've put together a few of my personal tips that help me sort of stay engaged with my work. Um, and they include, ironically, a bunch of Credo products. So that's great because that gives me content to talk to you about. So also I'm used to doing this in front of like an audience of people. So it's a little weird that I don't have any, I don't have like a laugh track. Um, so let's get started. So obviously start my day off right. Uh, by waking up and then from there I stretch I get a little bit of blood going but the very first thing I start my day off before I work from home is a little bit of goop glow I know that you've been curious about this you've seen it you have wanted to try it and I'm going to describe it for you this is basically you guys skincare in a drink and it tastes delicious it tastes like like orange, like an orange drink from the 80s that I don't think that I can say the name because of royalty or rights or something, but uh, it has like a light citrusy flavor, but it's packed with vitamins, antioxidants, uh, zeaxanthin, CoQ10, loads of ingredients that help you glow from the inside out. I'm a firm believer that beauty is from the inside out. Um, what you put in your body affects the layers of your skin. So, I know someone said the T word and I can't. I'm afraid I'll get, we'll get sued or something if I say it. Tang. Um, but yeah, so I'm a firm believer of beauty from the inside out. So I take a little bit of goop glow. There are these little handy dandy packets. So you guys can actually, I take these when I travel as well. Like I take three or four of them. So drink one in the morning before the flight. Drink one when I land. No travel cooties any time of year. Um, so these little packets, you dump a little bit in a glass or like you can put it in with your juice or whatever you like to drink. Um, I personally use water. I do a little bit of warm water first. I think it's really great because it dissolves the powder. Um, and then I'll add a little bit of cold water so that it makes it a nice uh, little 
flavored water situation. Um, I like to mix it into a beautiful wine glass because I'm fancy and I deserve it. Cheers. Goop Glow, you guys. It's pretty great. So, aside from Goop Glow, there's... I'm not going to take you through my whole personal skincare routine because personally we don't have that kind of time. Uh, it's about 25 steps and every step changes every day with a new product and a new thing that I'm excited about. But one of the things I really do love for working from home, this is a, a brand called Bybee, B-Y-B-I, Bybee. Almost like if you were Australian and you're saying baby, Bybee. Get it? Uh, so Bybee makes these really great things. They're called beauty boosters. These are This particular one is the blueberry booster. It's 100% cold-pressed blueberry oil. It's one ingredient. It smells like, like a delicious botanical, like nourishing dream oil. Uh, I do like one drop because you can mix these into anything. Um... So whatever like moisturizer you wear, if you do like another face oil, I'm like looking up into my, my bathroom cabinet, um, but it can literally be mixed into anything. So it's not necessarily your main skincare product, um, but it can, it can be if you want. Um, but the blueberry oil helps to absorb blue light rays before they have a chance to even hit your skin. So aside from being super moisturizing with omega acids, uh, essential fatty acids, you get that blue light protection, which if you're staring at a screen all day long, uh, you're gonna want some blue light protection. So I love this stuff. It's great. It's $17. It's a deal. It's not a deal, it's a steal. We should call the police on you. So the next thing that I want to talk to you about is something that is near and dear to my heart. This is a product from Maya Chia, voila. I have been searching far and wide for a toner that hydrates my skin, but doesn't evaporate right away, that has like a balmy, fresh feeling to it. This one from Myachia, it's called The Optimist. It's literally like, it, I think it's my favorite step in my skincare routine, not just because of, I'll tell you why I work from home, but uh, I use it as my toner, but I also do it between each step of my skincare. So I'll cleanse, do this guy, then I'll serum, do this guy, then I'll moisturize, and then I'll do this guy again. And I just do like a couple mess. It's a micro mess, so it barely, just lightly, like halo spray of goodness around your face. Um, but basically, there's aloe in it, there's sake, there's white tea. It just gives like a balmy suppleness to your skin. So if you work from home and you take a lot of like Zoom video calls or whatever, like video conference or you're an influencer and you're on doing an Instagram live. I'm not, an inf I'm not saying I'm an ins influencer, but um, this is really great just to give a little bit more life back to the skin so that you don't look so flat and dull on that, that especially like video conference. Sometimes it just looks a little crazy with the resolution of the camera. Great product, love it. It smells like if you like walk through like a neroli, orange blossom grove in the tropics. You deserve it. The other thing I like to do is, usually around like lunchtime, I like to throw on a little mask. Uh, this mask is fantastic. It's from a brand called Evolve. Uh, they're a brand from the UK, and this is called the Radiant Glow Mask. So this mask, First of all, it smells, it looks like brownie batter. It smells like brownie batter. It's a delicious treat for your skin. This guy, I think it's like 28 bucks. It's a fantastic max because of the, the ingredients and it helped to kind of promote, promote microcirculation to the skin. So your, your skin is re-energized, but it's also got some natural like sugar extracts and things in it that help to exfoliate the skin without being like, harsh and abrasive, like my skin's pretty sensitive. I am a ghost, uh, so everything turns my skin red. Um, this one, I don't have any trouble with in terms of sensitivities, and it just is like, you smell like a dessert and it's fantastic and it's pretty great. I actually like to take a little like dancing break once, like halfway through the day sometimes. I don't know if anyone else does this on their lunch break, but 
I like to dance around a little from home. Um, my favorite album I actually have here, and I recommend for anyone who likes to dance from home on their lunch break, it's the Dirty Dancing soundtrack on vinyl with great hits like She's Like the Wind and I've Had the Time of My Life. PSA for Dirty Dancing. Okay, next up. So, this is fantastic. I don't have long hair, I have short hair, so it doesn't matter what your hair length is, but everybody's hair needs a little mask love every now and then. Uh, so Josh Rosebrook makes this mask that you can literally just throw your hair up in a messy bun or ponytail. Um, I just have it slipped through my hair right now like a styling product, but it's full of essential fatty acids for your hair so to, to repair any like textural damage you might have. So I personally, my hair is actually really kind of like Shirley Temple curly. Um, not so much anymore because I've flat ironed the crap out of it for years and the, the texture is more like a caveman. Um, so this really helps like protect and nourish all that heat damage that I've put on my hair. Uh, it's super lightweight. It smells like a delicious cocktail on a beach, which I think we all deserve right now. Um, anyway, that's the Enrich Hair Mask from Josh Rosebrook. Great product. I love it. Now, the P.S. de Resistance that I am personally obsessed with. This is when I'm like ready. I've worked from home all day. I've had to like come in and out of like like consciousness of staring at a at an eye at a laptop. Um, so I just need to like relax and like unwind and like chill out. So once I'm done with that goo glow in the wine glass, I put actual wine in it. Uh, and then I soak in this bad boy, you guys. African Botanics. If you don't know, now you know. This is called Kalahari uh, Detox Bath Salt. I don't even know where to start because it's more like what's not in this product that's incredible. So it's got seaweed in it, it's got caffeine, it's got all kinds of delicious minerals and things that help to pH balance your skin. So it'll soften, it'll help with like texture. If you have like cellulite, you wanna help like smooth out over time. It helps with all those things. Um, it smells like, it smells like the most expensive spa you've ever been to. I wish you could smell it right now. It's like eucalyptus, like heaven. I don't even know. Like, it's just so good. And you don't need much of it. I actually, so my husband, you guys, was throwing out our old salt grinder. And I was like, no. And because I had an idea, I personally can't stand it when you're in the bath and you're like, it's soaky soak time. And there's like sharp, like salt that hasn't dissolved. And you're like trying to relax salt. Uh, get off my back. So this little salt grinder I've been using to just grind up the salt into the bath. It's almost like I'm making like a like a relaxing Josh stew or something. But anyway, it's incredible. I highly recommend if you have an old salt grinder, pair it up with these delicious, fabulous Africa Botanic salts. It's worth it. It's incredible. So those are just some of my like personal tips. Uh, aside from that, like life hack stuff, I always make sure I wake up, I do my full routine, even if I'm just going to my dining room table to work or my desk, I still get dressed, I still do all my skincare, I do the whole nine yards. Um, otherwise, I just don't think I would be really that productive, to be perfectly honest. So, we will, I'm actually gonna, I'm being assisted by our uh, marketing manager, Miss Laura, who has been pulling some questions from you guys. Um, I'm gonna just wait to see which ones she has found. Um, go ahead and just start throwing them out. If you guys have anything you have been curious about, like, let's do it. Add a little goo glow. No, you got all quiet. Favorite toner, M.A. Jones 16. My favorite toner, well, it's, I, honest to God, it's the, it's the Maya Chia Optimus Spray. It has been for a really long time. Um, it is incredible. 
I like it as a refreshing mess. I like it as like a packed on super hydrating toner. It's really great. Uh, let's see. The price of the mask, which are you, are we talking the, so the Radiant Glow Mask is I believe $28. What are, what are my tattoos? Uh, this mask from Evolve, I believe is $28 and I would just need someone to double check the price of the hair mask from Josh Rosebrook for me. I don't, I don't educate on prices, evidently. Um, most effective retinol alternative. That's a really good question. Most effect, thank you for whoever submitted it. Um, so someone has asked what's the most effective retinol alternative. This really entirely depends on your skin. It, retinol is gonna affect everybody differently. So even if it's a high or a low percentage, you, you can't necessarily say one is gonna be more effective than the other. Um, the one that I like, I actually like using an alternative to retinol. Um, it's an ingredient called bakushiol. Uh, I was gonna try to spell it, but I think I shan't. Um, by Cushio, you can look it up. There's actually a product by Herbivore. Um, it's a little serum. It's like a water-based serum, so it doesn't add, it like is a true serum texture. So if you're sensitive to like too many oils being on your face, it's like a nice light hydrator. Uh, but by Cushio is really great uh, because it will mimic the results that you would get from a retinol, but without all the sensitization, unless you had some sensitivity by Cushio. But a lot of people don't. It's been tested a lot um, for sensitivity, but again, everyone's skin is different. Doesn't matter which Maya Chia highlighter you use. Does it matter? Hmm. No, because they're all great. There's like a bronzy one. There's like a light kind of gold one. So the Maya Chia highlighter, you guys, is called Highlight of the Day. Uh, everything from Maya Chia is rich with uh, chia extract, which is obviously superfood for your body, superfood for your skincare. Um, and the highlighters are this really great, they're just, they're kind of a sheer, uh, I don't want to say sparkly because it doesn't look like disco ball glitter, but it just adds a little bit of life to your cheekbones without looking like you Instagram painted a metal stripe on your face. So it's like, skin treatment, uh, but also beautiful makeup at the same time. Okay, we have, what else do we have? Uh, best cleanser. Well, I don't, I don't wanna say that there's one that's, everyone's skin is different, so it's really just up to you. For me, my personal best cleanser, I actually bounce between a couple. I know my online friends are probably freaking out because I'm adding a lot of products to the list. Um, but I really am enjoying, hang on, I have to like go into my bathtub to get one of the cleansers, hold on. Hello. So I, I actually, I mix up my cleansers. This one from Goop, it's the Gtox Malachite Fruit Acid Pore Purifying Cleanser. I actually usually stay away from anything that says pore purifying because personally, I don't, I don't I'm not trying to put my skin through that, but this one I've given a spin. It doesn't dry and strip my skin, which is incredible, um, but it just keeps all the pores nice and clear. Uh, it's super light. It's like a gel texture. It foams up a little bit. It's really great. I use that one. I'm sorry. I use that one at night. I'm not sure if I said morning at first, but I use this one at night. Takes away the day. It takes away the pollution and the uh, dirt and whatever like makeup I have on and skincare and the SPF that I have on, it takes all that off. Uh, and it's just nice and refreshing and gorgeous. The My morning cleanser is from Osea. Uh, this one has seaweed extract in it. It actually has um, lactic acid from beets, um, which is a really nice approach to like enzymatic exfoliation if you're a, like a dry sensitive skin type like moi. Um, it just sort of takes away that sloppy winter dead layer of skin that I hate and I live with forever because I am cursed with this super dry skin that never goes away. Uh, okay, next question. What other masks do I love? 
What other masks do I love? Oh my God, do you guys, hold on. I have one, hold on. Have you ever heard of the Henne lip mask? This thing, when I tell you this will change your life, I, I don't know a single employee for Credo or, or client of Credo community, the Credo community, um, who has tried this and didn't love it immediately. The, the Henne lip mask, it's packed with sea buckthorn and cumin and all these like incredible like cell regenerative ingredients. Anytime that I wake up, I feel like, I think they released this like last, uh, the, the, a little, like this time last year, I think. This thing, my lips, I live in Chicago. It's frigid all, like pretty much all year long. And my lips will start to like crack and peel. I also have a little bit of lip enhancement um, that also doesn't really help with the dryness situation. So this basically cocoons your lips and like this like warm mother's embrace that <laughs> heals and nourishes and completely repairs the texture of your lips within like 30 minutes. Um, obviously well, that's a little bit, that's a stretch to say, through, but it really does like, you'll have brand new baby soft lips afterwards. I cannot tell you how much I love this Henne lip mask. Henne, H-E-N-N-E, at a Credo website near you. Um, let's see. What does a jade roller do? That's a good question. So, oh, by the way, the Josh Rosebrook hair mask, that is $39. So huge value there. Um, a jade roller. So depending on if you're into crystal energy, a jade roller versus rose quartz versus amethyst, obsidian, whatever you are into, they have different like energies and things that they can bring to your skin. Uh, if you're not into crystal energy, the sort of skincare benefits, the most important one is that a jade roller, the pattern of which you use it is you go upward into your lymphatic drainage, like canal, which is around your temples. Um, so you're basically just invigorating the skin, toning facial muscles, pushing all that like lymphatic blah uh, away and out of your skin. That's the answer. Um, do, 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 do. What serums do you always use in the morning and which do you always use in the evening or nighttime? That's a great question because there are certain, um, sorry, I just saw a different question pop up. There are certain serums that are like vitamin C, for instance, can be photosensitive or can break down in sunlight. So it's best to save your like really potent vitamin C uh, serums for nighttime. Retinol, nighttime. Um, anything that like is basically like creating new, like like pushing skin cells away and like exposing fresh skin, you obviously just want to do it at night because it can you can enhance like uh, hyperpigmentation and things for your skin. Obviously, we're all wearing sunscreen uh, during the day, so shouldn't be a problem. But um, so is Goop Glow non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan? Yes, it is. So Goop Glow is non-GMO, it is gluten-free, and it is vegan. So there you have it, folks. Let's see. Hang on, I gotta go back up. There's lots of questions coming now. Uh, dry Skin Saver. Okay, do you guys want to know what I have on literally, like, from my hairline, like, into my shirt? I'm like stuck to it because I had to like look extra dewy for the camera. My my um, dry skin savior. Oh my god, I have so many. Oh, this is like Sophie's choice. Okay, right. Well, right now, like literally in this moment, right now, this second, my dry skin savior is this delicious product. I need to stop saying delicious. I've said that way too many times. So this is called Goey Oil. It's from a brand called Jow. Uh, you may have seen, they have a really great blue, it's a um, 
they have like a lip balm and, san and hand sanitizer and stuff. But this particular product is a, uh, like a thick balmy, this like thick balmy guy, oil. It comes out like a, like a bomb, like a thick, like a thicker bomb. Like the, like almost like if you've seen the uh, Nils Yard Rose Balm, it's like that. So they call it Garden of Eden. I'm sorry. They call it Goey Oil because it stands for Garden of Eden. Um, because it's full of like a million different like plant extracts that are all like super nourishing and rich and amazing. I love putting it on like a sunburn. Um, it really is just incredible. I have it on my entire mug right now. Okay, favorite daily sunscreen. That's a good, that's a good one. You know why? Here's why, because Credo only carries mineral sunscreen. We're not doing any kind of, we're not carrying anything that's gonna put dirty things into the ocean or absorb into your skin, get into, you know, collective into your toxic burden. Uh, so that being said, mineral sunscreen uh, can, can, people can have strong opinions about which one they like. I personally really love uh, Josh Rosebrook's uh, Nutrient Day Cream. I have it somewhere. I think it's actually in my, I think it's in my backpack because I, I reapply it as you should. Um, but I love the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream because it is just like a true lotion-y texture. And it doesn't, uh, it doesn't leave like a white cast on my skin. It doesn't add, it doesn't mattify my skin. It just leaves it kind of dewy and supple. I love it. For my body, I don't really care so much about the texture or whatever on the body, but I love, um, there's a SPF called Love Sun Body that's really nice, super affordable, like nice big bottle. It's real good. Um, let's see. Oh, someone asked, two people have asked me what are, what are my tattoos? I have no idea what you're referring to. I, it's a long story, you guys. I'll DM me and I'll, I'll tell you about them. Um, what else do we have here? Sunscreen for makeup wear is to reapply throughout the day. That's a good question. I'm getting real close to the camera to see who said that. Is it bald baby? Um, well, so there's actually a really great, so Ilya makes a product that is called, oh my God, I'm going to blank, fade into you. It's a, somebody from Credo shop to uh, help me out. Is it called fade into you? Yeah. So this is like a, uh, it's like a, you, there's, it's like a brush that you can twist. It extends the brush out and then it pushes through a uh, SPF powder so you can touch up with it through the day. You can always take your, your SPF. If you guys, if you use a mineral SPF, which you should, you can warm it up on your hands and really get it going and then lightly press it over the top of your makeup or whatever your skin. Uh, and it won't have that white cast the way it would if you just dispense it and then put it straight on. It kind of warms it up and changes the texture. What is a good day moisturizer for combo skin? Hey, that's a good question. I have one here that I, I hid. I bought it and I hid it for my, my husband on top of our, our medicine cabinet. And when I was setting up for this video, I found it. So I'm teaching you how to lie and hide things. And I'm also teaching you about skincare. Uh, this is from 27 Rosier. Uh, this is a brand from France. I love these guys. This is called Quench My Thirst. This brand, this is like a, it's water-based. It's a really lightweight, I haven't even used it yet. It still has the thing on it. Um, it's a lightweight sort of water-based formula. So if you're combination skin, it's not gonna add like thick emolliency to where you already are maybe like shiny or where you're having combo areas. It's also super calming because they're, all their products have a core blend of ashwagandha, aloe, chamomile, and calendula. So it'll really help calm any inflammation you may have if you're breakout prone as well. Um, this is actually, I'm really dry and I really kind of love this um, in the summertime um, when it's not quite there isn't as dry in Chicago. 
Oh my God. Okay, so now you want to know about favorite under eye products. How much time do you have? Favorite under eye products. My... Fa oh my God, you guys, I don't... I think I ran out and I haven't replaced it. Oh, you know what I like? I like this under the eye. This is Walita Skin Food. Do you guys ever use this as an eye cream? This is the jam. So Walita has been around, this product I think has been around for a hundred years. This is like a staple for makeup artists as like a skin primer or as like a dewy highlight. Um, it's a really great hand cream. It's like an all purpose, like skin saving product. Um, but basically you can take a little teensy, little scotch. And I like this as an eye cream. I don't know, I mean, it's so dry in Chicago that I take any hydration that I can get. So I do a little tippy tap. You can take it all around the eye because there's nothing, there's not like the kind of ingredients that, you know, could travel into your eye and, and be harmful. Um, but I love that. I love, oh, you know what I love? Neil's Yard Remedies makes a frankincense eye cream. It's called Frankincense Intense. Obviously a key ingredient is frankincense. I'm 37. I'm starting to get some like lines that are like a little, I don't, I mean, I'm all about proactive aging, not necessarily anti-aging. Um, but I just want my skin to be healthy and, and tight. So uh, frankincense, if you think it's been, obviously was used thousands of years ago to tighten up mummies in Egypt. Uh, as a skincare ingredient, it's very lifting and toning and and uh, tightening on the skin. So there, that eye cream is amazing. It's hydrating, but it also gives that tightening effect around the eyes. And they have lots of clinical studies on it as well. Um, that's really kind of cool to have that back in your product. Uh, good primer for oily skin. Primers are, listen, you don't necessarily always have to use a product that says primer on it for it to be a primer. So you can think outside the box. Like I've heard of super oily people using like stuff out of their kitchen cabinet uh, as a primer. Um, but Suntegrity makes a really great uh, product called, it is called, I think it's called like, uh, it's the one that says make a primer in it. It's a long name, I'm so sorry. Um, but it's a really nice texture because it helps to kind of mattify the skin too uh, and keep, Keep the skin on set. Oh, a lot of people are saying Grown Alchemist Primer. That's a really good one. It's got like a blurring sort of like semi-matte texture to it, uh, full of antioxidants. So if you live in a busy city, the Grown Alchemist uh, Anti-Pollution Primer is amazing. Please say the eye cream again with proven test. Uh, the eye cream is from Nils Yard Remedies. They've been doing clean skincare since the 80s, I think. Um, so a lot of like really great products that would be what we call a clean swap, meaning if you used a product from say Kiehl's, Nils Yard Remedy products are sort of a similar like vibe. Um, so it would be a good clean swap for, for Kiehl's, but it's called Nils Yard Remedies uh, Lift Intense Eye, I think. Uh, it's, the primer was called Suntegrity Natural Moisturizing Face SPF and Primer. So you can see why I didn't quite spit that one out. Can I recommend a healing facial oil or a product for texture? So this, obviously, all of these recommendations depend on if you have sensitivities or allergies. So let me throw that out there. Um, you definitely, I, I'm happy to give recommendations all day long, um, but do a little research, read some reviews and things. Uh, this is a great sort of jumping off point, um, but maybe just compare a couple things. If you can get into a Credo store for a sample or something every now and then, uh, that's good too. But I really love uh, anything with like rose hip is really nice. So there's a brand called Pi, P-A-I, they have, they have a pure rose hip oil that's also a, new, a good alternative to retinol. Uh, but they do a CO2 extraction so for, for to, to source the oil. So you never, the product is never heated up. So it, can t it keeps all of its like nutritional value intact. Um, so it's just super healing, nourishing cell turnover, helps promote like a glow healing effect. Frankincense Intense Lift Eye Cream. 
is the name that I clearly couldn't say. Yes, you have to try pie. Pie is great. The whole line is fabulous. P-A-I, pie. It's fantastic um, because it, the whole brand is for sensitive skin types. Sometimes, a lot of times, sensitive skin products are targeted towards people who are dry and only dry. Their products run the gamut of helping dry skin folks and combo and oily and redness prone and everything. So it's a, it's a huge, like the portfolio of the brand is huge and we, we carry all their products. So um, check out Pi, it's really great. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're gonna do one more question. Let's see, should I use the same products on my neck as I do for my, I look really attractive right now, leaning in like this, or are there products specific to the neck? Yeah, there's lots of, um, there's lots of neck products. Um, there's a, a product from Skin Owl, uh, a neck cream that's really good from them. Juice Beauty has a really good neck cream. Um, back to, let's see, Nils Yard. Oh, you know what? There's a product, you guys, from Wild Ling. Wild Ling. And it is a oil. It's called Empress Oil. And it's got frankincense. It's got all these, like, ancient sounding ingredients in it. But it's really great for, like, toning and tightening the skin. And it works fabulous with a gua sha or a roller. Um, that is my last question. I think we should end on that note. You guys have been so interactive. Um, I do want to recommend, if you have any further questions, please, please, please go to our um, clean beauty experts on our website, www.credobeauty.com. Um, in the lower right-hand corner, it'll ask if you want to engage in a live chat. You can ask them literally any question you want about skincare. They'll walk you through products, make recommendations. They can do a video call. They can send you photos of um, like pre-made swatches and things from when, from whatever. Um, we also have a really great uh, GWP, a gift with purchase. It's kind of a staycation treat. So if you uh, make a purchase of over $125, there is a like seven piece set that's valued at a hundred bucks, but it's actually got that Grown Alchemist primer in it. Whoever was asking about that. It's got a space mask. It's got stuff from Well People, January Labs, Trilogy, ND Lee, Ursa Major. It's a full comprehensive treat yourself at home, nourish your skin, love yourself, stay well, and stay safe. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to try to turn this thing off and I'm not sure I, I, I know how, but thank you guys. Okay. How do I stop?